Most people associate the word Tesla with the electric car company rather than one of the world's most influential inventors. Nonetheless, Nikola Tesla, the Serbian-American inventor, engineer, and futurist, offered science some of its most important inventions, the biggest of which being the modern alternating current system. In this video, we'll be looking at 10 modern inventors you've probably never heard of. Before we start though, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now, without further Without further ado, let's begin. 1. Willis Carrier Genius can strike at any time and any place. For Willis Carrier, it was at a foggy Pittsburgh train station in 1902. Carrier saw through the mist and realized he could dry the air by passing it through the water to make fog. This would make air that had particular amounts of moisture. He built upon this idea, and in less than a year, he finished his idea to control humidity, the key building element for contemporary air conditioning. Willis Carrier, also known as the father of air conditioning gave rise to a slew of enterprises that run our economy today. Air conditioning enabled the quick and easy production of everything from baked goods to military supplies. His invention allowed precise adjustment of temperature and humidity, which helped improve shopping malls, transatlantic travel, and even the computers and servers that we use regularly. 9. Claude Shannon Every time you glance at a computer screen, check your phone, watch TV, or use a microwave, you should thank Claude Shannon. That is, you should thank Claude Shannon for 90% of the time you're awake. Jokes aside, during his time at the MIT in the 1930s, the Michigan-born mathematician did something brilliant, unexpected, and completely game-changing. He applied binary code to circuit designs, giving us the ones and zeros architecture that since made possible previously unthinkable modern realities, such as near-limitless data storage and the internet. He practically founded the discipline of current information theory. 8. Garrett Morgan On November on November 20, 1923, Garrett Morgan designed a T-shaped traffic signal, which became the basis of today's traffic lights after witnessing an accident involving an automobile and a horse-drawn carriage. The signal had three positions, stop, go, and an all-directional stop to allow pedestrians to cross streets safely. Morgan ultimately sold the rights to his traffic signal to General Electric for $40,000 the following year, roughly $650,000 in today's money. 7. Laszlo Biro In 1938, Laszlo Biro, a Hungarian journalist, invented the first ballpoint pen. Biro discovered that the ink used in newspaper printing dried rapidly, leaving the paper smudge-free, so he decided to make a pen with the same ink. However, the thicker ink would not flow from a standard pen nib, and Biro had to come up with a new form of point. He did this by inserting a tiny ball bearing into the tip of his pen. The ball revolved as the pen went across the paper, taking ink from the ink cartridge and dropping it on the paper. In 1945, Marcel Bick bought Biro's patent and created the Bick Company. Fast forward to the 21st century, and Bick continues to control the market. The Bick Cristal, a popular modern version of Laszlo Biro's pen, sells 14 million units each day globally. 6. George de Mestral It may be difficult to envision a world without Velcro, yet the fastening mechanism didn't even exist until 1955, when it was invented by George de Mestral. The idea for Velcro came to him while he was doing one of his favorite things, hiking. He and his dogs walked through a bushy area and were shortly coated in burrs that adhered tenaciously to George's clothing and his dog's fur. When he got home, de Mestral examined one of those burrs under his microscope. He noticed that the burr had tiny hooks all around it that could latch onto fabric loops in his clothing or strands of hair and animal fur. This was nature's way of ensuring that the seeds inside the burr were scattered far and wide for a better chance of success when planted. This design caught de Mestral's interest, and he wanted to construct a fastening mechanism based on the same concept. He made two sides, one with a lot of small hooks and the other with a lot of tiny loops. He collaborated with a weaver in France, who assisted him in developing robust hooks and soft loops that achieved the desired look. They also discovered that nylon was the optimum material for the hooks, and in 1955, the design was perfected. Velcro has now evolved into a handy, functional, and common material, appearing in many products such as clothing, shoes, small equipment, luggage, wallets, toys, and even home furnishings. It's even been employed in heart surgery, and NASA uses it to easily tie down objects during space shuttle missions. 5. George Washington Carver George Washington Carver was an agricultural scientist and inventor who created hundreds of products from sweet potatoes, soybeans, and peanuts, but not peanut butter, as many believe. Carver, who was born into slavery a year before it was abolished, left home at an early age to pursue an education 
eventually earning a master's degree in agricultural science from Iowa State University. He went on to teach and conduct research at Tuskegee University for decades, and his innovations paved the way for modern agriculture as we know it. Shortly after his death, his childhood house was designated as a national monument, the first of its type to honor an African American. 4. Emmy Noether It's difficult to do Emmy Noether justice in a few minutes of video for two reasons. First, she was so prolific in her achievements that Albert Einstein referred to her as the most significant creative mathematical genius thus far produced since the higher education of women began. And second, most of her breakthroughs were in the fields of abstract algebra and theoretical physics, making them difficult to condense into a few sentences, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Noether, the daughter of a renowned German mathematician, grew up during a period when women were strongly prohibited from studying math, and she was obliged to audit classes rather than formally enroll. Nevertheless, her great abilities were evident, and she was determined to finish her studies. Applying abstract equations to the material world, Noether developed Noether's Theorem, which established a relationship between natural symmetry and physical conservation. According to physicist Ransom Stevens, this accomplishment has been called no less important than Einstein's theory of relativity and is the backbone on which all of modern physics is built. 3. Hedy Lamarr Hedy Lamarr was an Austrian-American actress and inventor. As a natural beauty who's appeared in films such as Samson and Delilah and White Cargo, society's long overlooked her imaginative genius. The wheels in Lamarr's inventive mind continued to turn despite the world undermining her talent, and she was able to develop wireless technology that's about as modern as it can get. Improving things comes easy to me, she once said. Lamarr's accomplishments have earned her the title Mother of Wi-Fi and other wireless communication such as GPS and Bluetooth. 2. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky Tsiolkovsky was born in Russia in 1857, and a childhood fight with scarlet fever left him deaf and unable to attend school. He was almost completely self-taught. Captivated by Jules Verne's books, he began creating science fiction of his own, but became captivated by spaceflight. Tsiolkovsky was essentially a recluse, and he did practically all of his work in isolation, earning money as a teacher and funding experiments with grants. So, how far can you go as a self-employed scientist. Tsiolkovsky had a major influence on the Russian scientists who beat the US to space. He is regarded as the first person on the planet who gave advanced scientific and mathematical thought to space travel. His prediction that multi-stage rockets were the most viable choice for escaping the Earth's gravitational pull proved to be spot on. 1. Philo T. Farnsworth Philo T. Farnsworth began working on what would become the first modern television set when he was 14 years old, and he would finish up with over 300 patents in total. Mechanical televisions were invented in the early 20th century, but they were only a curiosity due to their low image quality. TV was not ready for the prime time, as they now say, until Farnsworth exhibited his electrical model in 1927. Unfortunately, Radio Corporation of America, RCA, and especially telecommunications pioneer David Sarnoff weren't particularly supportive of his television and went out of their way to belittle his accomplishments. Farnsworth grew dissatisfied with his invention until the first lunar landing was transmitted to his home, at which time he told his wife this has made it all worthwhile. Well, that's the end of today's video. Did you recognize any of these names? Who else should have been on the list? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel to be notified whenever we upload more content. Thanks for watching.